sapetu. Jambo, jambo bwana, habari gani? Nzuri sana. Na mimi na wasalimia kutoka kipindi cha kupika na wema. Yes guys, it is cook with Mama Sapetu every week. It is such a delight kuwa hapa just giving you every entertainment you deserve my beautiful beautiful subscriber kipindi kinapatikana only on wema app it's very easy download and subscribe to our application ambayo inapatikana on all platforms ni kimaanisha google play and ios big shout outs big much appreciations mapenzi tele kwa kotek kuwa main sponsor of my lovely show and to make sure that i am just happy because they're making my life so perfect in my kitchen and like always i am never alone and i have a blessing to be visited with my brother who happens to be a legend another legend in the music industry i'm so sure unataka kujua who you legend ni nani i only have legend it's i mean i only have legends it's such a blessing it's so nice stay right there to narudi right up to the very very small break kipindi niko kwa msafeta making life more perfect yes guys we are back like i told you in my kitchen ninae my brother the legend when you saw tiaki how are you i'm good sister how are you i'm good it's been a long time it's been a while. it you has been a while no very beautiful thank you thank you so much i love the white and the, the pink it's the pink the touch of pink that you see the yeah, fuchsia going on yeah yeah and, then, uh, and the hair i i think the same thing that you need to do sana nywele fupi have nimejipata kwenye nywele fupi ni mwana kama vile ah you fit everywhere oh yeah you want classic piece in up top up top thank Since you and ever and yeah and always and always they must know Hi. You already know. Yeah. You already know how you been though. I'm I'm good. Like I've uh, we 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 kind of like bump into each other tunakutana kutana hivyo kwenye kwenye mambo mengi starehe kwenye gatherings na nini. Um but I haven't been seeing you much kwenye kwenye you know the music industry. Why is that? What's happening? It's been a long journey. Yeah. And um, I'm very grateful to my God and very grateful to my fans. Mm-hmm. The patience and the wait. Oh, they are. I mean, uh, I am one of your fans. I mean, yeah. we are patient because we know you can and enough to be the tutu wa pole tunasikiliza sasa. Mfalme unasemaje? Inabidi tu. So for community of farming na na Yes, you deserve it. Like in a peer, sitaki ni lemas. Like in one thing I can always say about life is always a process. Yeah. You have been in the industry, you know industry. I know it. To tell this generation that there is future behind the mountains. Mhm. Ngo mtjelia kuona vitu ambavyo vinaonekana lakini kuna watu wamejelea vitu ambavyo vionekana. Vionekana tu. Wale ambao wanamchi Mungu wanaona mengi. Mm. Wale ambao wako na shetani wanaona machache kwa sababu wamejilimit. Okay. Kitu kimoja ambacho nimekuja kuondoa mimi natokea Uswahilini familia mm. ya kimaskini wema. Okay. 
mama yangu alifariki so nikachukua na mama yangu mkubwa nikapeleka Botswana kusoma mm Marie mama yangu alikuwa ni professor she was uh, working at the faculty of nursing in Botswana in Khabarone okay that means kwamba alikuwa anafundisha ikusabeni ni professor madaktari wote wa ukanda wa Central Africa ukipotea inabidi ujitafute yeah. na kwenye kujitafuta wewe kujitafuta haraka lazima ujitenge mimi baba yangu anaitwa Shaban Katwila mm. very famous football player mm. familia nzima imecheza mpira kuanzia timu ya taifa young africans ye mm. captain na mkwasa Mama yangu ni Khadija Hussein Abushir rest in peace amelala mbele zake. Mm, Nimezaliwa Mweza, Tanga, Masimbani, Ngwaru. Lakini nimelelewa by single mother. Baba okay. alikuwa star. Alikuwa na wanawake wengi. Mm. Eh, wake zaidi ya wanne na okay. kote ameza. Kwa hiyo mama mm. yangu mimi alifungwa uzazi. Mm. Na nani? na no, wake wenzie. Oh, umeelewa? Okay. Baada ya kuzaliwa miezi tisa nikazaliwa miezi 15. No Kwa hiyo nimetoka na dreads kabisa. No way. Na no, sikuweza okay. kulijua hili ni kwa sababu Ah, ngoja nikwambie. No, listen, sikuweza kulijua. Nimetoka na nini? Nimetoka kabisa na nywele. Kwa sababu miezi 15 ukiwa kwenye kifungo cha uzazi mm, ni kwamba mtoto Sandra kinasema anacheza lakini mama Sandra kinasema nimekufa lakini mm. <laughs> miaka hiyo lazima kulikuwa kuna teknolojia nyingine zaidi ya uganda. Yes. You understand? Eh? Yes. So I went back to my life. I okay. went back where I, I was born to research to do my research who I was. Na nikagundua kwamba that was a purpose to survive kwenye 9 months to 15. To 15. That is crazy. Na kutoka na nywele. Kwa hiyo nilipotolewa ni kwamba okay, umeshazaliwa. Lakini bibi mkubwa aliambiwa kwamba mmoja inabidi abaki na mmoja ondo. Oh. So mama the chose that I should go. I should stay and, and she should, should go. Oh. Siuli ni za wewe ukanikata. Oh. Sasa iwe chini ya mbuyu nika. Okay, we are coming now oh. back to the story. So it, that is like a real a true true story. I see my life. So katnaudi nyumbani nilikuwa najiuliza ni nitaanzia wapi na nitafanya nini. Mm. So I met my uncle, we hugged and tumeenda tukazika, tukarudi. Mm-hmm. Kwa basi mbaya na yakafariki. Mm. 